Hey everyone, welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red. And uh, yeah, do you like those title cards in the uh, beginning? I will begin to do that in the interest, I guess. Just have some title cards. Mean, yeah. It works, I guess. But now it's time to go to the power plant. And yeah, we'll just surf to there. Uh, here, you can get here as soon as you got surf. The same thing with Articuno, you can get there as soon as you can be able to use Surf. Here we have a Pokemon Maniac Mark and he has a Rhyhorn. Yay. Yeah. I don't think I want to stay in with Flame. I'm going to switch out into Arashi because Arashi has Surf and has four times to perfect it against Rhyhorn. And it's going to scare if it's me. But because. But uh, it doesn't intimidate Arashi because Arashi is awesome. So Arashi is just going to surf and it's faster even after the scary face bat. No surprise because Rhyhorn is slow as shit. And surf takes down uh, Rhyhorn. And uh, now it's going to send out the Lickitung. It's the first Lickitung we've seen in the game. And I think this is the only Lickitung you'll see in the game actually. Actually I don't remember there if there is any more... Yes, uh, maybe I think there is like one or two more, if I remember correctly, but uh, yeah. Can only get one Licky Tongue in the game. That if you, yeah. I said that in a past episode. Oh, um, I'm not angry. No, you're not angry at all, because you stand right out outside of this power plant here, which we are going to go into. Power plant. And let's see. Bag. Let's put on a Max Repel, okay? The Max Repel is still on. Uh, in here you can find Pikachu's, Magnemite, Magnetons, Voltorbs and Electrodes. And uh, of course uh, in Fire Red, no, yeah, yeah, Fire Red, you have a 5% chance of finding a Electabuzz in here, which is pretty nice because it's on a decent electric type Pokemon. Here you can find TM17, which is Protect. And here you can grab an Elixir. Now be careful with these uh, Pokeballs in here. Because some of them will, uh, it will be basically a Voltorb or an Electrode. Let's see, so, item down here. No, it's not an item! Oh, oh my god, it's an Electrode! So yeah, Electrode is going to be level 34. And I'm just going to go for Blast Burn, and that is absolutely going to destroy Electrode, because Electrode has paper defenses. And I was faster to wish... It's not really too surprising, but Electro is like the fastest Pokemon in the first generation or something. It's like shh, fast as anything. I believe down here, yeah, here's TM25 Thunder, which is a very powerful e Electro type move. Uh, 120 power, but it only has 70 accuracy. So I think you're better off using a Thunderbolt, which you can buy in the uh, game corner. Let's see what is here. It's an Electrode! Now, as all of you know, Electrode is famous for using uh, Explosion and Self-Destruct. But my flame is famous is for using Blast Burn and it's just going to die. Just die. So yeah. Let's see, over here is a Thunderstone! Yay, because we don't need it. Because we can buy those at the uh, Saladon the department store. And if I remember correctly, there was actually like an Electro or something here in the original game. But uh, there is a hidden Max Elixir. And uh, here's the Pokemon we were looking for! It's Zapdos! So yeah, let's see. Remember to have your Pokemon set, the, the balls you want with you, and then I recommend that you save your game. Okay, after saving your game, let's take on Zapdos! Yeah! There's Zapdos! Zapdos is a level 50 electric flying type with most Thunder Wave, Agility, Detect and Drill Pack. Luckily this thing doesn't have Thunderbolt or Thunder, because Zapdos is an extremely good special attacker, and uh, but it can be annoying. This Zapdos can be annoying with the take because it it's the sexy move as protect. 
it just protects the user from a move for like only one, one turn, but second turn it has a 50% of working, uh, third 25% I, if I remember correctly, first time it's always 100%. And yeah, I'm mad because I'm going to try to catch this thing in a Pokeball. I was very lucky with Articuno. So, I'll see if I'm as lucky with the Zapdos. If I can catch it in a Pokeball, because I want to. And it's just going to agility up, even though it's paralyzed and can't do be any of my Pokemon except for a Homer, but uh, yeah. Zapdos is an excellent special attacker. I mean, in the fourth generation in Planum, it got like. Amazing, really good moves at like the most commonly used is like hidden power, ice or grass, and then heat wave, thunderbolt. That's like oh, wow, Zapdos is an amazing Pokemon, and uh, it it don't it doesn't really have many weaknesses. Like it's I think really the only weaknesses is rock and ice, and those moves aren't really that common in uh, in. Uh, in game, and of course it breaks, breaks free, and now it's going to summon away me. Yeah, best bet you have against Zapdos is put it to sleep or paralyze it. I recommend put it uh, paralyze it because then it can't like uh, get unparalyzed. But it's still very annoying to catch. I mean, I'm mad because I'm trying to use the Pokeball because this Zapdos has same catch rate as Articuno, catch rate on three. So it's like very hard to catch. Oh, I almost heard it! Oh, that was a close one. Yeah, I'm just going to try another Pokeball. Just hit it low, then par paralyze it or put it to sleep. And if you're lucky, it's an ice type move and uh, you freeze it, that would be good too. Because then it has only like 10% chance of def defrosting. Oh, it doesn't hurt to be caught. Haha, <laughs> Parahax! Ah, uh, just going to throw another Pokeball at it, and hopefully this one will work. Ooh, oh, almost had it again! Haha, <laughs> you got Parahax again! My Homer is just hexing him, him. So it's lucky for me that I got that Parahax with Body Slam. Yes! Yes! Got it! Cuts out those with the Pokeball, and it was actually very, it was very fast too. I didn't use any editing at all during this spell. I mean, I didn't cut to anything. I did the exact same thing with Articuno. Just took a few minutes. What? What is up with that? But uh, hey, I'm not complaining that it went so fast. Yay! Happy circles for catching Zapdos in a Pokeball very, very quickly. Uh, something you actually can do is catch Zapdos first, if you don't have any Pokemon that can inflict the, the other legendary birds with a static condition, you can just catch Zapdos first and then uh, use Thunder Wave. Actually, in Articuno and Zapdos is probably the easiest to catch in my experience, but they still have catch rate of 3. Uh, hardest one is up next, in my opinion. Hey, Spinacher! What? Tell me what is about legendary Pokemon and hasty nature for me. But hey, I'm not really complaining. If this was like on my GBA, I would really like this Zapdos. But yeah, see you guys next time. Peace out.